Oh, yes. Oh, and Patricia, I'll, I'll see you soon. Thank you so much. I didn't realize that was her last one on the show. Okay. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so, we go from Morgan's favorite to, frankly, one of Jen's favorites. I'm just going to say one of because I have too many favorites. Same thing, Morgan. I, I, I can't choose a favorite. It's too painful. But this... When I merely saw its image on QVC.com, I was like, oh, I am in, 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 in. And I almost wore it, and I thought, okay, wait, you know, we're going to wear the Today Special Value, and I know we're limited on samples anyway. But I will tell you that I was trying it on before the show, I was playing with it, and you're going to be challenged to even make these hearts flip. Like, I, I know that's going to be a question that a lot of you have. The way that this is designed, they lay so beautifully. So what are we talking about? Noticing a theme here in our show, Italian gold. And isn't it kind of obvious though? I mean, the design is so cool, but it's so light and flirty and romantic and Valentine's Day is coming up. And how beautiful will it be, especially in a, a year after a year like that, that we wear something that sh shares with everybody that we're just all about love, right? Okay, so here is your multi-heart necklace. 5.3 grams in most of our gold pieces today please look at the descriptor to see your gram weights you know a lot of you ask that as you should the, here's the back well let me show you the colors first because then i have a cool backstory about it here's the rose gold now if we're going to do heart jewelry and not do it in rose gold that would be a crime but here's the bad news there are two dozen in the rose gold rose gold is almost always the first to sell out because it is a rarity and it's usually the most limited before we even put it on the air so there's the rose white gold oh it's last call so we got some white gold shoppers today that's exciting um but we'll be taking that off the table soon and then i mean <laughs> as my friend isaac would say i mean right the yellow has been very popular, but only three dozen. I'm um, doing some math here, and it looks like I don't have a ton of these across the board to go around. And just to share with you, let me get the housekeeping out of the way because I want to talk to you about this. Oh, 16 inches long with a two-inch extender. So I'll turn the rows around so you can see. Um, you are going to have, like, slightly larger links in the back that you can use the lobster claw to to adjust it up or down. And because of the way these hearts lie, they don't flip up or stand upright on your collarbones. So really regardless of your, um, your size, your shoulder width, your collarbones, are they protruding or not, it's gonna lay beautifully. Stacy will show you. All right, so there is a process that our buyers use to choose items on our gold days. And think of it as almost like a, a game show that it, they put all the jewelry out on a big table and they go through basically multiple elimination rounds. And using their kind of like equal veto power can yay or nay pieces to show up on the day. And I would love to be a fly on the wall for that, by the way. Um, and look how beautifully it lays on Stacy's neckline. I know I'm all over the place, but this necklace is amazing. Morgan shared with me, that no one even questioned this one. Like this was a necklace, they were like, yeah, no, that one's good. And on to the next, right? And with every elimination round, Sometimes there'd be discussions like, well, wait, are you sure? Because we really like this one. Everybody just went, no, next, we're keeping that one. Here's Morgan's quote. This was one of the first items I picked out for this event, no matter what. I knew we had to find a home for it. It's such a special piece that drew me in right away with the fun, playful nature of the hearts. And so let's come over to the yellow just because I fear of the other two selling out. And I'll just kind of lift up and show you each one of these is not soldered on rigidly, but has this just kind of like dangly, but not so much so that it's like um, kind of flickering in the light, which might be a little too much energy for a necklace, but doesn't it have that kind of, holy cow, look at the, the light off of those hearts. Doesn't it have that kind of Cleopatra effect on the neckline, but without being this bib necklace or something that's weighing down. So you could easily layer this if you leave it at the full 18 inches. You have a 16 inch necklace above it. Um, I'd love to see that mini initial kind of hovering about it, above it as well. I love how Stacy has it peeking out of a collar. Look how we layered three together if you're really feeling the look, right? because you can adjust them from those lengths. Now, here's the price differential that to me is really impactful because this is, candidly, a lot of gold. So the full QVC price is gonna be $780. Our sale price is 624. That is a difference of $156. Here's your update though. Yellow, two dozen remain. Rose, one dozen. 
and the white is now gone. So we kind of knew that was going to happen. So down to these two. I sincerely hope there are no future presentations planned on this necklace because it won't be here. Uh, but take advantage of those five easy payments of one twenty four eighty. This one, just so you know, Gen Coffee gives you permission to like buy it and then tell your special person that you found your Valentine's present. I'm just saying. I'll be the bad guy. I don't care. Okay, 